five times the next Saturday. I mean, that, that's so enormous and beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's not like, oh, it's such an awful thing and you become a hardline extremist. It just, you're so immersed in a waterfall of amazement about what you're able to do. And, and it's like, I remember feeling like I was in the Truman Show. I don't know if any of you watched the Truman Show when it, it basically, um, what was the actor's name? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey yeah. discovers that his whole life has actually been a reality TV show. And he sails to the, uh, the end of the sea and he discovers even that is just a painted on sky. And he gets out the boat and he walks and there's a door in the corner and he opens it and he goes, oh, it's all out here. That's how I felt when I came to Islam. It's like I've been living in a broom cupboard of, of, of existence and I've never come out of the broom cupboard for 43 years and then I was like whoa this is amazing um what was the question <laughs> uh, I forget but I just remembered that takes us nicely to I'm a celebrity get me out of here oh, yes. so uh, you mentioned that in your book mm. um how do you feel that was all the many things that you've done. Yeah, so um, I, I questioned about whether or not to put it in because each, each of the chapters in the book, is, I, I say this is a spiritual adventure that just happens to have me in it. It's not a book about me. So, so it, it's, not, it's not my story, it's a human being's story and each chapter should have a point. And I believe, I believe each chapter does have a point. And with I'm a Celebrity, it kind of explored the excitement of being a little bit famous, of waking up in the jungle with Jason Donovan every day, which was like a dream. In fact, in fact, I thanked God so much for waking up, you know, within a meter of Jason Donovan. Maybe that's what brought me to Islam. Maybe, maybe Jason Donovan was one of my steps. <laughs> Hi, Jace. Um, and enjoying that, that kind of moment to, and but then seeing a, a really nice, funny man, David Guest, who was the biggest joker ever. I remember him having a conversation with Miley in class, and she said, so tell us how you grew up. He said, oh, it's, you know, my dad was a, a fisherman. And we're like, really? And she, she's so sweet and naive, very light person, Miley. Really? And I'm going, no, no. Yeah, my mom lost her leg, and you know, she was, she was one-legged, and they used to go out fishing together uh, on the high seas and it's like that just ne literally never happened so everything he said was a joke but then realizing that 10 years down the line he dies alone in a hotel room mm. and, and full of prescription drugs so that all of that celebrity stuff is just a facade it's just that reminder of you know what are our last moments going to be and what is the point of it being more questions from